Godot 4.0 is literally game changing. It's going to allow for so many things to happen. It's going to allow for way better games that you could ever have imagined. Godot 4.0 is going to be huge. And there are going to be around 10 main changes to the game. For example, the core processing will be improved. Same with the rendering in 2D and 3D. And the rendering in 3D is actually pretty insane. So you're going to have to watch that here in just a second. Physics engine, animation, scripting, GD extensions, multiplayer, usability, importing and exporting. And they are even going to be adding a web platform. But what does all this mean? Well, that's what this video is for. So we can break down each new change and what it means for you, how it's going to help you, how it's going to affect you, and why Godot 4.0 is going to make Godot an officially better game engine for 2D games than Unity. Now, don't get me wrong. Unity is super good, but Godot is better, except maybe the 3D games. But hey, that should be getting a huge improvement with this update. I mean, Godot 4 is, is insane for the 3D Godot. I know Godot will be 100 times better than it is now and it's already the best in my opinion. The core. So what does Godot mean when they say they are gonna be making huge updates in the core? Well, what they mean is, well, in their words, throughout the last two years, the core of the engine has seen a lot of improvements and refactoring to bring it to the next level in terms of maintainability, reliability, and performance. The ugly reality of software development is that legacy code builds up really quick and keeping it up to date, ready for new challenges that arise several years down the line takes a lot of effort. So we took the opportunity of the new major version of the engine to break stuff to make it better so in simple terms it is going to be way less laggy and is going to allow for more items to be in the scenes or more nodes to be in the scenes before it crashes but to be honest i have never had godot crash on me it is good to know that they're fixing this so in the future it will be easier for them to improve on and make the godot system way smoother in general rendering so now rendering is this is this is going to blow your mind so rendering and this is really honestly a huge leap and something godot really needed to improve on to compete with unity and i think they are successful at that to be honest i mean as you can see from these images the before and after of this godot 4.0 rendering update i'm really excited for this and i might start working on some 3d games because to be honest that just looks amazing godot also kind of told us how they achieved this we have completely overhauled the godot renderers they now target Vulcan by default, and we have created them with future support for Direct 3D 12 and other rendering APIs in mind. So this is going to allow for silky smooth graphics like this. These clouds are made by using a new item to the engine called decals and they're just another way to add amazing dynamic effects to your game there are also changes to the particles and really good looking shader they also added support for using physical light units in godot 4.0 look at how these butterflies move around like that it's honestly amazing for a free engine but yeah rendering is going to be insane physics we all know godot as of now doesn't have the greatest physics but look at this godot 4 and this is done in godot like in their own physics engine for Godot 4. They were relying on a physics engine called Bullet. And now that they created their own, they're going to be able to make changes, make everything work exactly how they want to. And that is, that's obviously amazing. And the physics right here look very, very good. And I'm super excited, especially this is 3D, but it's obviously going to work the same in 2D because I, I work on a lot of 2D games and, you know, even, even physics in 2D is not the greatest but now they're gonna look super cool especially by this 3d model right here this looks amazing with that being said the new the new navigation system is going to allow you to stream regions which make the system applicable to large open spaces physical bodies can be marked as obstacles for automation collision avoidance and it all works much faster than before thanks to multi-threading support navigation links are also supported to configure jump points teleports etc now that is cool and i cannot wait to play with physics and go out for i'm gonna be honest animation now this is not my cup of tea but in godot's words they said 3d animations have seen a, a internal overhaul allowing for compression to reduce memory usage as well as individual positions rotation and scale tracks in place of united transforms now i'm not much of a you know 3d game maker or anything but i might be because of godot 4 godot 4 the 3d space in godot 4 looks crazy cool i probably won't use any of the animation updates but hey it's a step closer to competing with unity in the 3d space now scripting so we all know that godot has their own language and the gd script and it works amazing but how could they even be updating the scripting to make it better like i didn't even know you can update you know a, a scripting language but basically what godot stated was the coding experience in godot 4 with some of the most requested and long awaited language features you can now reap the benefits of first class functions and lambeds new property syntax the await and super keywords and typed arrays new built-in annotations make the language clearer and improve syntax for exported properties and to top it off your scripts can now automatically automatically generate documentations that can be studied with the built-in help and the inspector doc tool tips. So this basically means it's going to be easy to spot errors. It's going to make everything cleaner overall. Just updating the GD script to make it look 
better, to make it function better, to make everything work better, to have more functions that, you know, are built into the code. Also for your C coders, you're also gonna be getting an update. So you're also gonna be getting updates to the, you know, how it works in Goda, but come on. Come on, bro. Use use GD script. And then there's also, you know, a bunch of small changes happening. A ton of them. Like, for example, in the audio, Godot contributor Ellen Poe has exactly what it takes, and her work on Godot 4 helped to fix a large amount of withstanding issues with the audio system. As for multiplayer, they basically said we've spent a lot of time and effort on the foundations for our networking system and their reliability for Godot 4.0. Godot is also creating some type of a web platform. Yeah, to be honest, I, I don't really know why anybody would want that. But hey, it's still cool. And so Godot 4.0. I honestly can't wait for the official version to come out and let me know what you think of Godot 4 as it is now. Obviously, it's not, you know, officially done or anything, but you can download the test version of it right now on the Godot website. But to be honest, I'm going to stick with the Godot 3 until Godot 4 officially comes out. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.